In this video, we will cover the requirements for the floor or ground surfaces or general walking surfaces for ADA requirements. And that is going to be a maximum of 1 in 20. So a ratio of 1 to 20. For every 20 inches of horizontal, you can drop down 1 inch vertical. Here I cut a cross section into a level surface to give you an idea of the direction of travel for the slope. This right here will give you a better idea. You can see where the wheelchair is. That's a level surface. The On the right hand side it is sloping. Just trying to give you an idea of what I'm talking about. If you go to the website, the ADA website, you'll be looking for page 117, Chapter 4, Accessible Routes. Um, building code number is going to be 403.3, and it basically states the running slope of walking surfaces shall be steeper, shall not be steeper than a 1 in 20 ratio. So to give you an idea of that. And if, don't forget, if you make a platform um, or some type of a walkway that has a variety of different lines of travel in it, then um, where you can't just go one or two ways, or I should say one way forward and backwards in one direction, where, like you would in a ramp, for example, then you might want to check out the next video on cross on the cross slope and I'll put a link in here for that because there are two different things and it could be confusing and it actually is confusing to me because if you had multiple lines of travel in other words if you could go um, forward and backwards and then you could go from right to left or side to side then you could have problems interpreting these building codes